down the field, he clears with a long punt as the sun comes out again. Chris Lambert punches the ball onto McEwen as the final silence sounds with victory to Essendon. At the sound of the siren, the ground erupted. Indicating that uh, it was a goal and it's all over. Footscray's first ever grand final. Final scores, Footscray 15-12-102, defeating Melbourne 7-9-51. Peter Marquis. Twenty nine minutes gone. There's the siren. And the magpies have done it. The last time was nineteen fifty three. They've saved their proud record of four straight wins. Thorold Merritt and uh, Bennett, the two rovers who Boundary line, the Doms come through, Burgess picks up, boots it up towards the forward pocket position, but here, Lord goes for the ball, tumbles across the line, and there's the siren. There's the siren. With Melbourne Premiers for 1959, Melbourne defeating Essendon. The Rassi would be about 40 yards out on his wrong side, but not on a particularly acute angle. And there goes the siren to end what has been a disappointing game with Melbourne taking out the Premiership for 1960 with a convincing victory. Eight goals, 14, 62 points to Collingwood. Two goals, two, 14. Let's see what he's going to do. He uh, decides the ball up. There's the ball. Uh, the wind comes in. There's the final siren. The final siren. And Hawthorne. Murray kick misses it, falls off his hands, there's a chance for Gill. Gill gets the ball knocked to the head of him, runs into his own teammate, hand balls it across the head of the Siren, and heads to the Premier for 1962. Essendon, 13 goals, 12, 90, have defeated Carlton, 8 goals, 10, 50. They're still fighting hard, the Geelong, too good on the day. There's the kick off, a chance for Lyon, Alistair orders there, and there's the Siren. The siren. Melbourne wins 8 16 64 to Collingwood's 8 12 6. Seconds away. Final scores 14 21 105 to 9 16 70. Davis, McKenzie takes it, the kick's smothered. He tries.
a neck wrestle. The neck come oh. across. Oh. Siren's gone. The siren's gone, has it? Yes. Look at this. We couldn't hear the siren Carlton, our previous. 8-5-53, Carlton, 7-4. By Crane. Crane swings around. Gets his kick with a half-forward flank on the outer side. But Jackson's in front of hurls it again. Richardson, the mark. And Richmond are Premier's making 69. Richmond Premier's making 69. Fantastic. There's the kick now. Down to the half-forward flank. A mark to Gallagher. to the flank position on the outer side. The sun comes out as the ball hits the ground and Heath sends it back to the weak position. Siren goes. Siren goes. Hawthorne, our premiers, 1971. Connell of Carlton limping. Players, there must be dog tired out there. Yeah. That's the siren. Siren. Carlton have won it. Carlton have won it. And they're going mad here at the MCG. Traps the ball in soccer fashion. A hand pass by Green. Little come off. Hart pushing the ball. The siren goes. Siren goes. Richmond are premiers for 1973. Richmond are premiers. And what a beauty. Flank. Arnold Brightus comes out to meet it. North are going down, fighting. Hand pass over towards Burns. He's in trouble as Clayton comes through. Clayton is tackled. There is Kevin Morris with Burns. The siren goes. North Melbourne through Chisnell, getting that ball to the half-forward flank on the northern side of the ground. Trotters after it, with the Siren, Siren's gone, North Melbourne's first ever flag. For that bit of a run, Cable kicks it over the centre, up goes Malcolm Blight and takes the mark, plays on immediately, the Siren goes! Hawthorne have won it, Hawthorne have won the 1976 grand final. With the ball in the half back line and the ball driven out there towards uh, uh, Max Richardson picked up by little ball he's going for one can you get it down there and turn there's the side of the neck for the end of the game it's a draw it's a draw the 1977 grand final is a draw oh, and we'll be back here next week oh, hey golly another draw what a great performance it was by the only two times it's been done to come from third place on the VFL ladder after home and away season but there it is say that it's uh, Hawthorne's Premiership for 1978. There it is. Hawthorne Premiers for 1978. And there's John Scott is going to give a present to somebody in the crowd. Hawthorne. 28 minutes gone. Five is there minutes. time for Collingwood to get up? They're five players. There's the Siren. And Carlton have won the 1979 Premiership. The score, the final scores. Carlton 11, 16, 82. Upfield taken by Mervyn Kane, long kick by Kane. There's the siren. Richmond have won their first premiership since 1974. Kevin Bartlett equaling the record of number of goals. There's no one there for Carlton. It doesn't matter because the Magpies have lost this match for sure. Well, there's, there's the, the siren, and Carlton have won the 1981 grand final. The Carlton. final scores: 12 goals, 2092. Carlton for calling with 10 goals, 72. And a great victory. One of the big guys to take a mark, Bell Pointer couldn't hold that, but there's too many defenders there. But now, and there's the siren, and the Blues have won the 1982 grand final. 14 19, 103 count, defeating Richmond, 12 13 85. Back pocket position, Rodney Ead going after it, and the ball is out of bounds. So at the 30 minute mark, we see the score. There's the siren. There's their coach, Alan Fighting it out, full marks them as the ball goes down there, but a mark to Danaher. Into this quarter by just on 35 minutes, there's the siren. Essendon winning their first flag since 1965, and the final scores. 
Ball back into play again as it goes wide towards the or over the half forward line for Hawthorne. There's the Sire Sire to win the uh, game, and uh, Eston Dupremius for 1985 winning two in a row. 26 goals, 14, 170. Eston to Hawthorne, 14, 8, 92. to the centre, 68 to 110. Knocked down by Deere on this occasion. There's the siren. And Hawthorne are premiums in 1986. The Hawks winning their sixth VFL flag. Kennedy, opposed to Green. Green did a brilliant lead. There's the siren. Robert Walls is elated. With him is Wes Lofts. Carlton of Premiers for 1987. An outstanding performance. We're out of time in the grand final. It looks like it's all over. The dream of back-to-back -back pennants is all but there as far as the Hawks are concerned. There's the siren. Hawthorne have won it by six points, a heart stopper. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen a classic. This will be probably the last kick. He need not even kick it. The draft is over. 52 years. They've waited. Five seconds remaining. And look at this, a panic for Gowers if it sits. Taps it over to Allen as the siren goes now and the Hawks win. Remaining. Evans may have the last kick in this grand final. The Eagles are going to win their first play. There's the bounce, Somerville, and there's the siren, victory for the Bombers. They won that afternoon against Richmond, and now a long road to the MCG and his second premiership. The Eagles are premiers for the second time. It's all over for the Cats, and the celebration's about to start for Carlton. Couldn't pick it up cleanly. Suck it up the ground, and there it is! North are champions. So there's nothing left now but to celebrate. We've done what we thought was impossible. They've been to Perth, to Melbourne, to Sydney, to Melbourne, and they've come back. The time ticks down, and the Kangas have won a fourth premiership. Well done, Dennis Pagan. You deserve everything you've got today, and so does your club. Well, <laughs> tears of a different kind today. You could argue forever who is the best team of all time, but as Jason said earlier, this is the best season we've ever seen. Kevin Sheedy joins Dick Reynolds. He would certainly be in line for the Norm Smith. He's had seven marks, ten possessions, kicked two goals for it. They've done it. He's got the ball in his hands, Bruce. A bit of history here. Lee Matthews has been to the top of the mountain for a second time as coach. Once at Collingwood. Nick Davis. Fraser makes the lead. It's all. So to Lucuria, 
and he misses. He said he did. Look at that. There it is. It's all over. Port Adelaide. They had the power to win. And it was very much. Cox throws it onto the left. One last roll of the dice for the oh. Eagles. Soccer off the ground, Rioli and Enright, Taylor, but he runs him down. Hawthorne, the champions. The long wait for Crawford over. And he can have a shot, and surely any score will do it now. Wonderful kick by Mooney. It's over! The Cats! Vindication has arrived. They have won their second in three years. The tap. Del Santo. It's going to be a draw. It's unbelievable. But it's happened. <laughs> in a grand final. It doesn't get better than that. It's ticked over the 30 minute mark now. Shaw drives it as long as he possibly can. There it is! Beyond a shadow of a doubt. The Cats proved themselves as one of the greatest teams of the modern era. Premierships 07, 09. Smith can't quite get it. Buddy held up. Hannibury's been magnificent. Malcheski, two goals that he'll never forget. And they're home all right. They've done it. What a team. That culture, the bloods. That's what it's all about. An 11th Premiership. Buddy may get the last touch. Dawson deprives him. They've done it. The best team all year. Last year so difficult for them. Back on top of the mountain. Yeah. I want to shepherd it out of it anyway. But this great team, the best team of the modern era, of the last 50 years, produces its masterpiece. They've never been better than this. Gaff and Brittis. So Hawthorne have done it. The first team in the 18 team competition to go back to back to back. They're three pieces. They are remarkable. We'll kick virtually on the siren. He misses. But they don't miss out. Their day, their year, their joy. Proud today, the Tigers are going to win the Premiership in 2017. The Tigers have got home for the first time in 37 years. Bouncing ball. The 
we've got a brand new stadium, a big one, and they're going to put a big flag up there in a moment because the Eagle has landed for the Premiers in 2018. A second to go. The Tigers are Premiers for the 12th time in their history.